Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 21st through the 28th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I like to close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for likes, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below, email me. And we can set something up. I also want to thank you guys for donations. I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, let's get this show on the road. What's going on? Make sure to check your sun when you write this sign. I know I say this like three or four times. But with general readings, they don't uh, resonate with everybody. You know, everybody all the time. Because it's like tens of thousands of people watching. You know, so it's like the strongest energies come out. So sometimes it's not going to be just yours. Maybe yours is hidden in um, something else in your chart, okay? All right, let's go. What's going on for Pisces? Pisces, 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 Pisces. Love reading for August 21st through 28th, 2017. Mm. All right, so it seems like somebody's trying to start something new with somebody that moved closer or maybe somebody's trying to move in with somebody new, okay? Ooh, so there's some kind of sacrifice that is needed to be made for the Pisces. I feel like you, the Pisces, is trying to make somebody else make this sacrifice. Ooh. Okay, so in some cases, they're trying to make them uh, get um, terminated pregnancy, or they just trying to make them um, give up a relationship, some kind of relationship. Okay, ooh. All right, so there's some sacrifice concerning love here. Okay. So, this could be two things. Somebody is trying to sacrifice, make somebody um, terminate a pregnancy. Or somebody is in love with somebody, but they want to end the relationship. But they really care about the relationship. But I feel like somebody want, wants it to end. Or somebody wants a lot of stuff to end before they start the relationship. They want the partner. You want your partner to make all these sacrifices to be with you. Even though you love this person, you like, you got to get rid of a lot of stuff before, you know, I stay with you or be with you kind of thing. Mm-mm. Okay, so this could be a new relationship or this also could be a baby. I mean, I feel like it's a, if it's a family thing, somebody is not ready for a baby and it's something there. But if it's, it could be a new relationship that somebody really care about. Okay, so this is dealing with possibly somebody that makes more money than you. Yeah, you make the most money. And you want somebody to sacrifice something to be with you. Or you feel like somebody is trying to have a baby to keep you. Oh, okay, that one flew all the way across. All right, so this um represents low self-esteem to me. So... I feel like maybe the person who is making a sacrifice has low self-esteem or you have low self-esteem dealing with this person. And that's why you're trying to control them to this aspect. I don't know if that's the right word, but whatever. All right, oof. So, I mean, just looking at this right now, it seems like somebody doesn't want to be in a relationship, but they do because it's somebody they love, but it got something bad going on with, somebody just feel bad about this relationship for some reason, or somebody feel like they need to um, terminate a pregnancy and they feel bad about that, but 
this makes me feel like somebody's feeling real horrible about what they what they they're doing. Okay, so you also feel like this person is taking you into a dark place. You know, you don't a whole lot of stuff you don't understand and you don't know. And then you also feel like this person could possibly be be using you. Mm. Okay, so I don't know. The cards just said something about a trip and heartbreak. I don't know. I only saw a little bit of it, so I couldn't get it together. But what's going on with the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? Oh, we might be dealing with an Aries, Pisces. Yep, so... Yeah, I keep seeing travel cards. Right, what's going on with the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What's going on with the Pisces? August 21st through 28th, 2017. Love reading. All right, I don't know if I said this up front, but I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Hmm. So that's your card, Pisces. Okay, so there is a lot of love here. And somebody is working hard for it. You know, they're working hard for it and they feel like they should be getting more. But they just feel like they're working backwards. They don't feel like nothing they're doing is adding up to anything. You know? Mm. All right, so we got the King of Cups here. King, King, King. It says, a great person, educated with many interests and abilities. Indicates that you can, no, indicates that you receive good advice and generosity from someone soon. Okay, so someone going to help you balance this love work, um, work relationship. Like, they're going to help you. Dang it. My dog then ate a hole in my shorts. Ah, sorry. <laughs> All right, so seven of coins. All right, and that is right side up. It says, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Do not let the money imprison you. So, I don't know. It, uh, this makes me feel like somebody is just working real hard to try to avoid this um, love interest that they have. Or just trying to avoid being with this person. I mean, that's just what I got from this right here. Alright, um, Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups? Alright, the Ten of Cups says... Your attention should be at your home and peace in your home. It is time that balance this is time that balance and harmony and are present in the home. Okay, so that's basically it's time to fix your home or you're gonna be doing all this work for nothing. I don't know. I feel like somebody is just trying to avoid avoid a relationship here. Alright, seven of swords. Seven, seven, seven. Hopefully that means something. All right, seven of swords reverse. Result product of your labor, wisdom, and outside support. So it's basically saying everything that happened to you in the past and everything is happening to you now is making you act this way. So, I mean, shh. I don't know, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.